What is that one thing which qualifies a human as a human? Now let us count everything what you have said. Well, go ahead. Huh? Compassion. What else? Kindness. Consciousness. Divinity. Huh? Manners. Spirituality. Commitment. Choice. Spiritual teacher. Well, we are going to count everything. Go ahead. What else? Word. Huh? Word. 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 Live and let live. Live, let live. Go ahead. Neutral mind. The ability to reason. The only beautiful thing which makes you human is compassion. You are worth nothing. Just think about it. Think of vengeance, think of lies, think of truth, think of God, think of greatness, think of anything. Take compassion out of it, you will find everything is bitter. Work it out. There is absolutely no grace without compassion. Are you all here? Let us discuss. Chalo. Somebody should stand up voluntarily and start discussing compassion. Come on. Gurnetar Kaur. You know, come on, Gurnetar Kaur. <laughs> huh? Loud, loud, Beba. Everybody has the right to hear you. Cholo, cholo, let us, let us have a good debate. Well, everybody should have compassion. And what do you mean everybody should have compassion? They all know they don't have it. Don't you? Who you are telling? <laughs> well, it's just my opinion. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, uh... We're better people if we have it, if we... If we use it. What you said? I said we'll be better people if we try to use it. If we try to be compassionate. Do you use it? Personally? Mm -hmm. Sometimes. Why not all the time? Because it's hard to use it all the time. What is hard and soft about it? It's not a matter of hard and soft, it's a matter of hard and easy. What is hard and easy? Well, because you are a very intelligent girl. Talk something straight, otherwise I'm going to rough you. You don't like it. It will not be compassionate then. So why don't you just talk straight, I talk straight, and we just come to a certain, draw certain things which are very good. Let's be healthy about it. Some faces are missing today. Who are they? Is everybody here? They should be here? Some people are going to center fair, what? There are some people on errands. Huh? I feel like some people are not here. Why I feel that? I never feel every day. Today I feel so. Who are leaving today, may I know? Three, four. 
that's okay. Coming and going is the way of life. Ha! Huh. Compassion. I have to say more. <laughs> oh, I mean, I want to know why we, why we are not all the time compassionate. Why don't we use it? What stops us? I'd like to know all that. Well, I guess for me it's because um, I, I quit caring about another person. And so that makes me uh, not be compassionate. And then so you quit caring for anybody. Compassion is a way of life. It is not a something you can quit it and switch on, switch off. I know, but that's that's what I do. It switches on and off. How can you do that? Tell me. How can I do it? Mm. Oh, no. <laughs> in my whole life, the way I was <laughs> in my whole life, I have suffered. I have been betrayed. I have been in pain, but I couldn't be not compassionate. I can't. I I I have been advised. I have been told everything. It doesn't matter. I can't change my nature. To be compassionate or to have compassion is a nature. It's a, it's, a, it's a reality and non-reality, and it's a non-reality and reality. You can't change it. So how can you change, shift gears? You're compassionate, you're compassionate. doesn't matter. You know, that day I was with that girl who was here, and uh, there was a situation which... Uh, I was very compassionate. <coughs> I did tell her, I said, look, you just cooperate, I'll cooperate with you. I don't want you to go to a mental hospital, I don't want to create a scene, I don't want sheriff to come here to arrest you, I don't want to do anything, I'm just like a teacher and father. I'm willing to cooperate, you go from here to the airport, take the ticket, go to there, talk to your doctor, be within one week, I'll send you the ticket, I'll call you back. I'll take care of your expenses for my personal expenses. I must say, that's my nature. I, I knew that that was not right, but I, my compassion did not tell me what is right and right. I wanted to help her. And she went to the airport and she created a scene there and the police took care of it and she anyway ended up in mental hospital. But that was her karma, not mine. I never wanted her to go. I did my everything. I sat down on the ground and I laid down the basic rule. I said, just cooperate. Just don't give anybody bad time. You don't have to. But she won't listen. I mean, if you are compassionate, you are compassionate. You know, I have gone through every positive, negative, upper, lower. People tell me I'm great. People tell me I'm nothing. I mean, that whole thing is just all right. I'm good, I'm bad, doesn't make sense. But I want to learn how you can be compassionate and not compassionate. I mean, just give me a break. You can be right and wrong, you can be wrong and right, you can be up and down, you can be idiot and wise. I can understand everything against it, but how can you be compassionate and then not compassionate? Give me a break, I want to learn that. If I can learn that, I'll be a great man. True. How can you be compassionate and then not compassionate? Yeah. Yeah, we forget all the time. I was, I was eating peach, I was forgetting that this peach, can a man make a peach? Then I said, well, plastic peach is it, then it will be that tasty. I was just going through it and I was eating a peach. And then I remembered more God than I could have remembered doing anything else. I was looking at the peach, I was looking at the scene, I was looking at the taste, I was thinking, figuring it out. And uh, how much God must have sat down and make a peach? 
Peaches do not grow on beaches. <laughs> Don't you know this is my common saying? <laughs> peaches do not grow on beaches and life cannot be lived with speeches. <laughs> Have you ever seen a peach tree on a beach? <laughs> and long lecture and big speeches, do they mean anything? But I am very worried about um, Siri Bani's dreams. I mean, this girl can dream and say things nobody believes, and after a year it comes 100% true. <laughs> and Siri Bani is true? Yeah, I got it, middle of the night. I was guarding it myself. I, I worry about your sp speeches in dreams more than anything. <laughs> but don't worry, Siribani. I have come here to do what I have to do. There are souls and there are promises. I'm just a victim of the environment and the circumstances. Between the two, nobody's acting. It's all there, but somehow. How to be compassionate? Well, I figured out why it is that I become uncompassionate. Oh. It's because I start thinking of myself first before the other person. And Do you know one thing? When God made you, right? And He made the entire environment, right? And you and environment are not different. Mm -hmm. Suppose you are so healthy right now and you happen to fly on an aeroplane, right? And in a Gobi desert, whatever that desert is, you drop in the middle of it, perfect, healthy. And 250 miles around, there's no water. What are you going to do? Become unhealthy. <laughs> <clears throat> because the water, the environment and you are one thing, right? Isn't you as you cannot exist. That's what I'm trying to explain. Peaches and beaches can coexist, but peaches do not grow on beaches. Compassion is the value, compassion is the value, compassion is the life, compassion is the power, compassion is the God, compassion is the meditation, compassion is the truth, compassion is compassion. Oh, is John going to come here? Oh, tell him if he wants to come, we'll give him a good food. Yeah, I know. Yeah, ask him to eat that, uh, mm, what they called, uh, quackers, uh, oats? Oatmeal. <laughs> and nothing else. He will recuperate very soon and drink away for health. I tried his number. Huh? So I'll call him there. At least this is a chance to talk. Satkartar Kaur, what about crockery? <coughs> what about it? What they call it? Uh, no. What do they call that stuff? No, those uh, cutlery, cutlery. 
compassion. <laughs> yeah, come here. I feel that compassion is the art of perceiving the other person's consciousness and it is a true becoming oneness with that person. It's, it's an ultimate oneness because Very true. It, is, it is a an experiencing of another human being with no judgment of right and wrong whatsoever. It is, there is no good and bad. God, you it's know that much? How come you knowing that much are still not have grown wings out of your armpits? <laughs> I'll look when I go home. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> um, it involves very, it involves the highest faculties of the human, it involves tolerance, it involves patience, it involves sensitivity, and it involves all those things in combination. And what else can I say? True, whatever you said is true. It's compassion is the compassion is the strength through which you can suffer and not feel it. Otherwise, pain is so terrible. I just talked to somebody, and uh, I believe he's a saint, and I do believe that way. And I said, you know, uh, what you have to say, and he said, Oh, Yogi, remember you used to say to talk to your secretaries, you know, you used to pull them up on the earth, huh? Now that secretary has got a snake around your neck. I say, well, that's true. And he says, yo, you told me to talk to them. And I say, I don't know any English. See, now they got around your neck. And, uh, remember ten years ago? I said, that's true too. And he said, you'll get out of it, but it will rub you hard. Didn't like it, because I feel it doesn't matter who rub me hard and not rub me hard. To elevate another human being is my way of life. You, you asked a question, why some people turn compassion on and off? My no, people lose compassion and people get angry. The question is very simple. In compassion, there's a one bad thing. If you are compassionate, you do admire another person, uplift another person, and that can become animosity. Just remember this. Compassion is not a very safe ground. Because when you tell somebody you are very good, they say, well, all right, if I am so good, let me tell you, where do you exist? It is called goodness reaction. There was a situation, there was one girl, she was horribly feeling bad all the time, and I did two, three years to take her out, talk to her, do the thing. And one day I said, let your fear be gone. A week later she told me, through somebody, that her fear is gone, the only thing now she wants to see whether I will be afraid of her or not. And she started doing things which no lunatic or crazy person can do. I, mean, I, I couldn't believe. And still she's doing everything in the world to just, just be ugly. And that happens. That's, that's a very ordinary reaction. That you love somebody, you befriend somebody, you elevate somebody, you kind to somebody, and the person will totally turn back on you. Totally negative. Extremely destructive. What do you call that? Huh? What do you call of that? Hmm? No, that is called the test of compassion. <laughs> compassion tests itself. The Brutus. 
it started with a Greek philosophy. When everybody put their knife in, Caesar never knew that his best friend, best soldier, best bodyguard, Brutus will put the knife. But he did. Judith, Brutus, Gangu. Gangu was a pundit. He sold away Guru Gobind Singh two innocent sons. He was in that family for a long time. Chandu was the finest minister of Lahore and he wanted to marry his daughter to Guru Hargobind. And when that marriage didn't take place, Guru Arjun was convicted by the Jahangir and Jahangir decided that um, 125,000 rupees be paid or the punishment be taken. And if Chandu wanted, he could have totally ignored the whole thing. It was up to him. But he decided to take Guru Arjun and take him through that torture. It was totally test of compassion. May I ask you a question? Is mm. betrayal always something which in history always accompanies betrayal? Betrayal is, the act, betrayal is the act of kindness. How is it the act of kindness? Because you are betrayed, then you know where God is. When you are betrayed by your loved one, you are tortured by your sweet ones, and you are done in by those who you call relatives, that is the time you look towards God. Dukh daru, sukh rog pya, jaan sukh tam na hoi, tu karta karna mein hai, jahan kari sohi. Balihari kudrat vasya atir antuna jai lakhe. That's, that's, that's the truth. That, that I don't, I don't, I don't mind uh, being betrayed is a disqualification. I believe the treachery is the, treachery is the virtue through which you have to go through. And uh, it is not, uh, it's painful. I'm not saying it's not painful. After what is not painful? Everything is painful. What is not painful? I mean, is it just imagining that things are all green? It's not true. How green is my valley? Time will tell. I don't believe that uh, betrayal, treachery, lies, um, slander are bad. I don't like them. But I don't feel uh, they're bad. I think that they are, they are the, they are the, uh, they are the challenges which will come to you. In your life, you are a Sikh. You may not think you are a great Sikh. You may not think you are a small Sikh, but you think you are just a Sikh. But you are a great Sikh of those who couldn't be Sikhs. You are a small Sikh of those who were perfect. You know, big and small is a comparative study. But the fact is, you are pursuing something which you don't understand, you don't like, you don't know, or you love it, or you are great about it, or it's good for you or bad for you. I'm not discussing the paraphernalia of it. I'm just discussing the fact of it. The fact of it is you are there. My, our flag is there. What did they say in the national anthem? Flag is still there. The highest virtue is that you are there. You are good or bad, that's not a virtue. That's not a matter of discussion. That's just a time and space. The alternative to life is test of compassion. The life is compassion. That's human. Anything else doesn't matter. Elevate. You don't elevate because you will suffer. Because higher you put somebody, lower that person will take you in vengeance. That's the real rule. It's not something you have to worry about. But that doesn't mean that you stop your habit. You know, there was this scorpion. It fell into the river. A saint saw it. He pulled it out. When he pulled it out, the scorpion will hit the finger. He said, ooh, then fell again. Then he take it back. 
this game continue for a while and then one man said, Hey, Santaji, what are you doing? He said, Nothing. He said, Each time you pull this guy out, he sting you. He said, He doesn't change his nature, why should I change my nature? My, you know, my nature is to pull him out, his nature is sting me. This is continuous, doesn't matter. Either I'll get tired with the sting and faint and then he'll drown or uh, he will faint not to sting me, I'll put him out. <laughs> Simple as that. the bad man will not leave his bad habits, why the good man should leave his good habits? That's true. To, there's nothing to kill anybody. His own sins and own wrong things will do it. The idea to get you here is to understand the basic involvement of life. The secret of success in your total greatness. Total greatness is you relate to the totality of God. Total call it God, call it cosmic law, call it anything. Something which is total. Something which is life and it is total. Life is total, not partial. Partial life is what is my gain and what is my life, where I am and where I am not, who are you and who you are not. It is a concentration. Beyond concentration there is acceptability and that is totality. Do you understand that? There's a big of you, vast of you. So, There is a situation which you have to confront today. Try to see how it works though. Mount of Mercury. Mount of Mercury, lock of the index and the Saturn finger. Ring finger will either turn like mine or will be straight. I don't think it will be straight. Normally it twists. Mercury finger will be straight. Almost this is a posture. But if you put it on the sun finger, it will be not right. Put on the end of the mercury finger. Now you got it? I tell you, let me correct it myself first. Okay. See this? Got it? This is the mount of the mercury. Mercury is retrograde, understand this is? And this is the interlock, you know? When we say evil should not touch you, what do we do? We do this? Huh? Remember that? So evil won't touch you. Okay, this is what you have to do. Put it like this. Put it on your hands like this. And as the tape plays, you bring it like this and take it back with the nod. Uh, play the tape, let me tell you how you do it. It's a beautiful thing, you just do it.
last line jit simrat sukh hoye sagle dukh ja will continue to be at your heart center that's the only difference rest of the moments are okay just do it and try to see that this doesn't get removed and this keeps on and when you do it you really touch it like that you really feel it here it will give you some a uh, very subtle kind of a feeling which you cannot understand but you can feel it you can describe it if i say how you feel you say oh, fine but uh, this will this will stimulate in you something which you don't know how to stimulate is a very undescribed and unconfined situation no vera the calorie girls could you please raise your hands Oh, Pai Jeevan Singh talked to me this morning, and he said I should give you Vaishnavi Ji ka Khalsa, Vaishnavi Ji ki Fateh from them. Okay? And he says if prayer comes true, and uh, everything goes all right, he will come. I say fine. Yeah. um first of all if you have yourself unnecessarily then you should not but having yourself is not unnecessarily i mean look at me i can uh, what i can do i can sit anywhere and have two chapatis and sit and you know why i have to hustle 22 hours what for because sikh dharma bills get paid But what do I get out? What is what is in it for me? What I I am I am, and if I I'm good I'm good I'm bad I'm bad. There's nothing to do with anybody. But I being I am. I just I just have to continue. Whether it's a sacrifice or call it compassion and call it mission, call it going, because somebody somewhere is benefited. No, 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 no. It's a worthless. Every lawsuit, every every summer, I mean, is you call it a worth? No. It's not. You can't tell people to eat beets. You can't tell people go to college and finish their graduation. You can't tell people uh, just to work if you want to run your household. I mean, it, what is what is wrong? I ever said to anybody ever. you don't judge worth and not worth of the truth truth will sometime react people don't like to hear truth they say they do now and take my experience everybody tells me no sir i it won't hurt me please tell me the truth no they heard it they didn't hear it and this is a very funny thing uh, 6 years ago a uh, few top leaders sat down to discuss that how to retire sri singh saab and install a sri singh saab 6 years ago and i called them i said look mukhiyas there is no trouble it is only question is who can earn 500000 dollars and run the show if you run the show take it I'm, i i want to retire myself so it's not it is it was a, it was a, not a question of whether they are right but i didn't say you are dismissed you have revolted against me that is nothing as is fine one day they have to take over one you know i'm not going to stay here longer than ever it's not possible what do you think is my my possibility and with all the charges which i am always charged with you come before the ladies khalsa women training camp and still say you are grace of god is god what kind of guts you need it's not easy i mean you think life is easy no it's not true 
you are challenged and sometimes you are challenged to the adversity of everything but still remember you are you and you have a grace and you have identity and you have a God and you believe in it and you continue there is no such thing to stop and that's what it is keys says keep up If you got a bad deal, fine. If you got a good deal, fine. But you got to continue. You don't have to change your goodness. I have I have I have a quoted incident that a week before I told somebody, I said, a week after you are going to do this, this, this is a bad thing and it's going to hurt you, hurt me and hurt three other people. Please remember this. Yes, sir. No, sir. I understand. No, they didn't. After a week, they did the same thing. Hey, you are doing the same thing. Oh, I, I don't know. I have to. I, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you going to do? You have to continue. This peace prayer day, we were told it was going to be blasted, it was going to be bombarded, it was going to be coyote, it was going to be this, there are going to be lawsuits, they're going to put it in, and it's going to hurt everybody, da, da, da. Oh, okay. Good. You got to do what you got to do. Bad only brings the good out, and good only shines because there's a bad. Take away Aurangzeb, Guru Gobind Singh would have sat in Anandpur and have enjoyed. There was no problem. Take Jahangir out of the life of Guru Arjun Dev, my God, everything was fine. You have to understand that. A, a coincidental, it, the things are accidental and coincidental and we think we are doing it, actually this is a play, this is a play, positive, negative, dark, bright, it plays. That's why I'm trying to give you this meditation, in that you will communicate with heart, crossing the evil and see how good you can be. Okay, set it up. No, 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 it's equal. Yeah. Oh, by the way, your husband may come tonight. If we keep our hands on our heart center for both of the, this is going to let this is the last line, the next time that we do it, our hands are reversed. They're down than before they were up. Mm -hmm. so no, last you keep together and by the end of it you keep it down. Okay. That's a little trick. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's a very good, uh, it's, it, it will do you, it will make you feel very good. Okay, we will do 31 minutes, it is a quarter to one, something like that. Okay, start the tape, please. From the beginning. No, no, rewind it. Yeah. We sing, we sing. Singing is very good. Okay, ready? Ooh. Good.